Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. Got a whole bunch of subscriber comments to look at real quick before we get going this time. Quiet Mirth was asking about our research progress. I wonder if I would kind of summarize that each episode as I summarize the little things I've done here and there in between. And actually, this time I haven't done very much. One thing I've added was the possibility of putting a roof over the top of this. It will stretch within the perimeters. I think you can go out five away from a support and this would work great for a little lean-to roof in here so that would be fine and this this stuff is frozen so it's fine except that the pieces that are unroofed are deteriorating so as long as it's winter time and we're doing all this butchering we may as well take advantage of the ability to keep it out here in the cold and eventually get it hauled in but so we'll add a roof to that but um research we actually haven't done very much we've been my, my thought has been let's get the base built we'll get a big research room in here and then we'll get going full bore and research but you know i kind of want to get the base built <laughs> we have spent so much time where are we like episode 35 i think that's this one we've made a great well i'm going to call it a tent city it's just basically what this is it's supposed to be just a temporary place it was going to be what five temporary rooms just to get us you know a place to put a roof over our heads while we uh, got to work on building this and then the you know the prison all the way over here didn't work out so we threw in a prison and and then we started adding more people from that prison into here and so we had more rooms <laughs> and we had to expand the refrigerator and it just kept going and going so anyway research we have accomplished this one which allows us access to this one which we're working on now and that's about it we got to start on i think it was pemmican or one of no it was uh packaged meals progress that far there just thinking that that would be a great meal to set out in a place like this without refrigeration for as long as we wanted to then that one got uh, shut down by realizing we really needed medicine and and i didn't know that the drug bench would allow us to make medicine so shut that one down went into there and but since then you know our our researchers have been building and running around at, at 7.13 doing things and natalia has been making clothing like crazy there's still an unfinished deer hide duster waiting for her to finish with 243 work left so research will happen but it hasn't happened yet we finally got this guy going then we need to get the multi-analyzer going too is this something no it's not something i have access to yet that's another research thing multi-analyzer over here and it will allow colonists to build multi uh or increase research speed and allow a higher level of research that gets us even further out into here with it and all of these things including the vitals monitor that we were talking about early on in the series now when we did this in alpha 13 i was able to take one multi-analyzer and connect it between two of these high-tech workbenches and it would it would boost the speed of both and i kept being told that you couldn't do that and but i did it and it worked just fine so i'm wondering if i probably won't Oh, I hit the wrong one. Probably won't get access to even read it until we build it. So I don't think it'll say in that description there. But if I can get back through this, I will check that. But there was confusion in Alpha 13 about it only working with one workbench or one uh, research bench. What do I want here? World here. And so I, you know, Alpha 14, 15, and 16 all came out while I was still on 13. So I'm guessing those were changes made to those. Multi analyzer. Um, if placed near a research bench, doesn't say only works on one, but I think when we click on it to build it, it will then say it only works on one, but we'll see when we get to that. So I take it there is a change halfway through after Alpha 13 to where I am now, and right now I have no idea what it actually is. It may have changed it again. So there's that to think about. So research is kind of stalled right now. We're, we're we're hitting what looks like the priorities. Um, you guys can let me know what, what you think the next highest priority is, though that means I'm going to get uh, 29 different answers. But you can hit pause right here and look at this and, and kind of, uh, what, what would you do next after our medicine is done? I know Tomislav wants the hospital done. Fire foam would be nice, but we don't truly have a need for it right now. Um, mortars is where I was going to go next. That seems like the next... 
you know, that gives us a little bit of, of, of offense as well as, you know, defense in, in, a, in a way. But we can attack long distance. And let's see here. Incendiary, IEDs. Okay, so the, the, the shells will come out of the production. I think they come out of the machining table. Is that right? Which is the next thing that came up. Um, Brendan mentioned that we don't really need two tailors benches anymore and that's true that was back when there was the confusion about why nobody could use this bench once handy's project was left on it now we know nobody could use the same bill but you can still use the same bench so that could go away and it was a suggestion to get another cook stove in here maybe move get pull this one out put another cook stove in here and get two cooks going yeah that's it seems like a, a logical placement for that let's see I was just wondering, okay, that's still the closest way to the fabrics is, is right there rather than here. It's two doors to go through. But we don't really need two cook stations right now. We will have that in our in our kitchen, well, in our real kitchen. We get into here. I've got one set for right there, right there, and right there. Or something like that. Maybe it's there, there, and there on top. But that way each chef has quick access through to the refrigerator to grab whatever he or she wants that the haulers will then grab from the freezer to restock the fridge and keep it restocked. So that's kind of the plan for here. This room will not have heat, so it'll be cold all the time with the doors opening and closing and the temperature. Well, summertime, outdoor temperature is what the mountain temperature is. So if it's 95 outside, it's going to be 95 along the perimeter here, and that's going to offset the temperature in here. But we could have our our uh, little stations of, of, of goods sitting up by each stove and it, they won't rot as fast as they are over there because it theoretically be cooler. Though having three cook stations going, that's really, you know, we'll only turn one on until we can't keep up with the meals. Then we'll turn a second one on to have two people cooking at once. And then if this bar stretches the entire screen here, and I'm not sure what happens when we run out of room, you know, uh, back in uh, Ostrov, when we ran out of room for the queue, he was able to cause them to shrink so that more would fit there. I haven't, I've never run out of room before in this game to see what happens. But, so I don't know, I don't foresee us actually needing all three cook stations up and running. So that may be just, you know, wishful thinking. But anyway, in fact, we'll, we may not even mine out this last little section right here until that truly is needed. Um, so we don't need a second cook stove, but we could take, say, this one out and put something else in there, like the production, the machining table, to see what that does. Or what was the other thing I was thinking of? Um, well, I was thinking about a second sculptor's table, but that may also be like needing two of these. You know, we have plenty of, the, of people that want to art, but we also have a base to mine out. So one at a time is, is enough. We don't necessarily have to put another one back to back in here. I was just laying out what space I think we've got available to do something like that. Um, stone drug lab. So drug lab needs to go in and the machine table needs to go in. I like to get one of everything in here eventually. And the stone cutters table right here, I can just go ahead and place that one right now. I want to get this closer uh, to where we're working. I was going to put up a second bank of batteries in there. I think that's important. Though we could, now well, that's going to be the ugliest place to spend all day working. Hmm. We need to put another stone cutter's bench somewhere near where all this granite is already on well, marble. Oh, this is all marble. we got to get down in here to get granite. Okay. I want to put stone walls in here. And, you know, separating the bedrooms and, you know, the, the inner wall right here will be stone rather than this rough stuff, which gives a negative beauty. So... I don't want to haul everything over to somewhere to cut it and chop it up and bring it all the way back when we could just do it right here. Just got to figure out where here is. Maybe it's in a place like this. Maybe we'll put a wooden floor somewhere in here. Lots of light. Make it a, a nice place and then get to work on it. That could be. So that's got to be done. Um, also, Dirigizic said that this guy is still blocked somehow. And, yep, blocked by roof. Hmm. Ah, yep, there it is. Now, ignore? Does that take it off? 
that takes it off. Did that why? I guess just aesthetics, wanting to uh, make sure that the, ah, the batteries are have no chance of ever getting uh, uh, in the rain. I didn't think about covering those up. Okay, that'll be done. All right, so that means that this is eventually not going to be blocked by roof. That's right, we're going to tear it down still. Okay. Um, what else came in? Lots and lots of comments. Um, let's see here. Lady Shell was said that uh, a wall by both sides of the doors would give better cover of this guy. I had to scratch my head to figure out what that meant. I, I think she means this. Structure, we'll go with granite blocks because this is the part that's going to get shot at but we were to do something like this and even there probably there the idea they can go out of the door stand there and take cover from although it's not going to do much good here this angle would work great stand right here and shoot around this corner and then block these things open probably with an order to close upon the next person walking through that could work. So as they run back through, the doors close behind them. They pop out of here and go into one, you know, run back into the base and come out somewhere else. Probably make the loop through here and pop back out this door behind them while they're banging on the doors to come in. But something like that. I don't want to put them here or here because that forces us to go even further into the water to go around it, which means they're probably going to go through the doors all the time every time they make this path, which is a slow waiting for it to open and waiting for it to close. So I, I wish I, now I had built this one space over and got this dirt right there. And think about, about the pathway at the time. Um, so Lady Shell, let me know if I've misinterpreted what you said, but I think that's what you're what you're implying be able to step out and still be hidden by a by a wall in some regard um what else eric was commenting how much he enjoyed watching the cat fights <laughs> all the all the girl brawls um michael was sad <laughs> he's still kind of zoned out over here and wants to get back to his art yeah he's 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 blue and Tomislav is really uh, lobbying for us to give him a second heart because we keep shooting his. <laughs> I told him that uh, he bounces back so easily. I'm kind of questioning now what just what his uh, previous re re research was all about and what kind of personal modifications does he have that we don't know about. What is he right now? He's, he's, he's researching more of that. Mm -hmm. Miss Pete, you're going to go steal a meal from uh, Alicia, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and then, speaking of Alicia, because I think I've gotten through all the other comments, yeah. Um, first of all, Alicia was was mentioning how she was really kind of enjoying this character. It's too bad that this has gone wrong because it's kind of a interesting character there with abrasive and bloodlust and chemical interest and and kind of our our uh, abrasive psychopath in a sense. And that's when the new foundation wrote in to say, you know, there is a second option. And I've thought about this. And, you know, now that we had the experience with Agira and we had the experience with Alicia and how aggressive that the, uh, um, what's the noise I'm hearing? Oh, I'm hearing a vacuum cleaner several rooms away. It sounded like the game had hung. It was just kind of a buh humming noise. You guys probably can't hear it, but I can. Anyway, two characters both have, for the most part, succumbed to the addiction issues and how hard it is to get through an addiction, how slow it is, but also how quick it is. Both of them took brain damage and, and Aguirre passed away within oh, 15, 20 minutes of that notice. I'm assuming that Alicia is going to as well. Now that I know what I know, I will not allow any more addiction cases into the colony because we're just setting ourselves up for heartbreak and we've all kind of gotten invested in alicia and her character and her potential and i think rather than waiting for this one to die deciding whether we're going to just rename her back to her original name and pretend it never was alicia and bury her out here with the rest of them and move on and then wait for another interesting character to show up or there's another option that i'm going to go ahead and exercise though it's right here development mode this one is 
mind-boggling to decipher. I've looked at this before and my eyes just kind of glazed over and I said, you know, it ain't worth it. But this time I was forced to try to figure out what all of these little options are. And this is just one of those tabs right there. But what I've discovered after going through all this figuring out, we've got tools for pawns. And of these tools for pawns, there is one called remove H-E-D-I-F-F -F dot dot dot. I'm assuming that is an abbreviation for something. I'm not sure what head diff is. He diff. Um, yeah, I could try to make up what that might be or I could just click on it and show you what it does. So with that, I can go down to Alicia and erase basically what would not have been allowed into the colony to begin with had I known what the consequences are going to be. So I'm going to do something just for the sake of the series and, and for the sake of the, uh, of the characters here and so we can continue on without these issues anymore as if I had never accepted a character that had the issues to begin with. This will erase the damage to the brain. It will erase the tolerance large of go juice and will erase the addiction so that we can move on from here, not allow any more addictions in you know, there's the ability to, um, where is it? That one? Banish. So I can tell a character to leave. So if a character just suddenly joins on us, that is not one that we as a colony would have allowed to become one of us, like this sort of a situation, then I can just make them go away. But... In that case, that was a learning experience that shouldn't count against her. So at this point, I'm going to continue the game with Alicia 2.0, essentially. All repaired. Options, turn this back off, and move on from here. Which means that Alicia is now no longer dealing with the addiction issues, no longer has brain injury, and can continue the way she was meant to. So we're going to really quick... Um, probably just get rid of this manage area so there's another way to get to managed areas this one goes away and she is now unrestricted let's clear all of this and set her up like everybody else now she is kind of Miss um mining buddy is what I'm thinking of using her for at this point I wonder if we set her up with a with a well, I don't know. Hmm. Kind of psychopathic tendencies and aggressive along with Natalia. Miss P might get ganged up on. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. This way we get a shift of mining at night and a shift at mining during the day. Maybe we'll keep them separated. Okay. But that kind of resets Alicia for us. Nope, don't walk over there. What did I just do? Health um, needs. So your rest was basically done. This should all go away as the game starts to reset, I'm assuming. So once I get to running it, but can I get to running it? Is there anything? Let's, where's everybody right now before I do? Um, Thomas Slav is researching. Rabbit is mining away at marble. Shantigo is cooking, butchering. Needs, he's in great shape. Klaus is over here on, uh, on stone hauling duty, filling up this this uh, stockpile so we can get it moved into here. I did set up another quick little stockpile, uh, stockpile before I started recording that wants these right here to be brought to it. Marble and uh, granite so we can get them out of our, our uh, gauntlet here so we can start filling it in with the other ones. Um, otherwise, Sangria, I've set to do that hauling as soon as she's done with her training. Uh, Catherine and Natalia had their cat fight last time so they're both uh, in 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 the hospital in a sense Michael has, is still zoned out on on a uh, sad wander so he's he's out and about and Miss P is stealing meals over here other than that Alicia you're you're healed it's a miracle yes that's I'll have to name the episode with that it's a miracle okay Alicia let's think about what you're gonna be doing now you're you're a minor but yeah, we, okay, we'll keep cleaning there. Let's go through this a little bit. So everything's fine there. You're four and four on doctor and warden, so you can give meals by command. You want to eventually learn how to handle, but we're not there yet. You can't cook. 
construct your three out of twenty, which is just enough to break everything you do. But you want it, you have a passion for it, so you'll probably get trained for it eventually. Grow, same thing. Four out of twenty is not very good, but you have a passion for it. Mining, you thankfully have a passion for, and you're halfway decent. So that's where you're, you're going to start. Plant cut, everybody gets the joy of that. Rabbit, especially. Okay. And Sanger was also real heavy on uh, on um, grow right there she's an 11 out of 20 so that kind of naturally fits her too though hauling probably well okay it's going to be both because it's not very often we actually do that so what did i just do that was correct yeah hauling okay so otherwise natalia is fully healed great art so all of the crafting and arts are no so hauling and cleaning is it okay so predominantly where did you go, by the way? You went over to... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's a peas buddy. That's what I figured. Rabbit's going to jump in and help out, too. Now, this is an ugly place, so we got to do notice the beauty is going away completely, so moods are going to suffer from that. Rabbit's been in here the most already, but all three are still in good shape. Okay, so up in here, got to get this going up. I see Hendy's putting all of the... Anything that's had materials put in it, she's taking care of that. Okay. We might not actually need this this year. We'll see. We've got lots of food still in stock. Lots of meal potential in here. Eventually, when all the animals are butchered, we're going to see, oh, at least another thousand meat come in. So there's another 100 meals at least out of all of that between the, the two uh, you know, meat and the other. Um, in fact, that's 200 meals, five meat and five veggies out of it out of each um the issue was mostly what we're growing here enough cotton to make medicines out of the herbals though we only have 50 available because we only have 50 of this right there which probably should be brought inside just you know should probably live in here somewhere just thematically um though by buying those 44 a while back that kind of now, gave us kind of a shortcut to the dire need that we were in. So this could be reset. Hmm. We'll see. I want hay grass and I want cotton. And the game paused. But it's okay. Yeah. You know what would be another miracle? If we can go one more episode without a major raid or something. What was that? Virus Mechanitis tended. 100% quality. Rabbit. Um... And Tomislav, you're on your way to Klaus. Let's make sure all these folks are still set to, to herbals for this. We've had a few. Tomislav needs to go back to there. He just had his done with the good stuff. Yeah, one day, 18 hours, darn. Handy, you're on there. You're on uh, uh, herbal. Chantigo, herbal. Klaus, herbal. And Michael, herbal. Though Michael's not going to head to a sickbed to get his treatment because he's so sad. Where is he nowadays? Minor break risk. Um, Michael? Actually, you are what? You're not blue anymore. Is no longer wandering in sadness. But you're about to do it again. <laughs> Why? Um, Michael and needs. You didn't collapse this time and have to get hauled in and that's what resets you. I guess just hitting one of these lines here reset you. Now if we can just get food in you then get you to sleep in a nice place which hasn't been made nice yet. Michael your bedroom was where? You were right there. I wanted to get that hauled in. Let's see if we can get that hauled in before you go to bed. Who can do that real quick? Tomislav you are feeding a meal to Kathra. That's nice. Thank you. You are training Divot because you got all those moved? Wow you're fast. Good. So those are gone. We just need to haul out this group right here, and then we're free to completely load this up again. Um, <clears throat> Natalia doesn't haul. What did I need? I needed that. She does construct, though, right? Can I? Oh, I can. That's, that's, that's a construction command. Ooh, good. There. Tricked you. You thought you weren't going to do any hauling, didn't you? All right. So what were you doing after anyway, though? I don't know. You are dropping off your latest creation. Must be a duster in here somewhere. Right there. That's cloth, though. That's an old one. Someone's already dumped that off. Uh, Natalia, did you swap out? 
No, you got a jacket on. Is the deer hide still here? It's still here. Okay, I don't know what you were doing. Okay. So, other than that, um. Okay, nothing in there. Let's do think about this. Let's make this one go away. Leave that one there because it's close to the fabrics. There's no door in here. And so let's tear this one down. Deconstruct. Tomislav, you were given a meal. Now you're attending to Michael. Oh, who finally went in for his medicine. Okay. Then who else can? Um, Natalia's doing that. Who can do a tear down? Sangria, you're training. Hmm. Most everyone's, a lot of people are asleep, I'm noticing. Okay. Shantigo, I've got something I want to do with you, something I want to do with you. Sangri, how's your, how are your needs? You need to rest soon. And your joy is fine. You get a joy from growing, growing and animals, but you don't need to capitalize on that at the moment. What if I were to get you to haul these out for me just so that I know it's done and I don't know if I can well, if I can if there isn't room they will be taken down here so that would still work and that'll finish that Klaus you made it in and you went to sleep and handy you are out here finishing this Woo! Oh, you're probably putting a roof on aren't you you are okay good then actually what's it gonna take to make this happen probably a lot Let's do this manually just to get it done. Right there. Hope I'm clicking the right one there. And my hand is so tense holding this mouse and clicking these buttons, it feels like it's starting to go numb. <laughs> there, and then you can actually get to it underneath there. Well, while you're here, I'm going to do this, this. Let's just make this finished. Right there, there, there. We'll see what the game can can queue up. Your needs are still fine. They're fine. In fact, they're so fine, I'm going to have you finally do this one too. There. And that was a shoddy one. An awful one, yeah. That all goes away too. All right. We know what Hannah will be doing for the next three episodes. Um, I wanted... Okay, that got done. Natalia, where is... Who am I thinking of here? Shantigo. You finish off what you... No, you aren't. So I'm going to take advantage of this. You come and move, remove these. Actually, i got to do this first, though. You and you. Kill that. Okay. So, Shantigo. And there's nothing that's going to go there. So if I tell you to move these meals, you can only take them in one place now. That is to haul them out of here. Giving our medicine to Michael. Who is going to do what now? There you are. Um, you're going to go rest. And I got put in, which means the beauty is now at a, at least a positive. It's 0.6. Natalia, while you... No, never mind. You don't clean. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to trick you into cleaning either. Like, tricking you into hauling. Okay, so we're just going to... Michael, you can clean. No, you won't clean either. Oh, these picky people. Anyway, Chantigo, I need you to not do that. I need you to haul 75 of some kind of vegetable. Well, I always have you bring corn, because that's what I see. So, I could actually have you put 75 bug gel in, I think. But let's... That's a, well, the fox is dead. He's not eating our strawberries. Okay. Haul those, and then haul... No. Can I get you to haul any meat? What's... Well, that's just going to haul inside. Okay, do that. I have to wait for the game to reset its timer on this one square. There. Now can I get you to haul that? No. That? I still can't. There's an open space waiting for meat there, and I can't get you to haul it. No, don't consume it. Okay. Actually, do that and that. Well, I'm going to make sure that consume is still not in the mix. So let's just do... Yeah, um, wall, a uh, warg, haul, and then haul. I think we're good. I don't think you're going to go eat that. <laughs> no, he's not munching. Okay, so put that away. Then you're going to put this away. Then you can go back to making your meals. And we've got to get these eight back into the queue up there. So someone's got to haul that one away. Um, otherwise, we've got just a normal bedroom again. 
you are now Alicia's, who reset to down there. This one is waiting for our next character to come in. Next raid or some unusual event. Otherwise, I feel like we're finally getting to some kind of a normal, normalcy right now. Health, we're still pretty beat up on Cathra. Long way to go, too. Yeah. Now, I don't think we have much of an infection risk here for using the the lesser medicines or no medicine at all. But the better medicines are gonna, I believe, speed up this timer, just to get her back into into uh, you know functioning again. So maybe I gotta think about using the better medicine, at least the blue medicine, for that purpose. Angry is grabbing these because somebody dropped them off here. Is that an accident? I probably bugged somebody. There's no kibble in here, right? Raw resources and no, there's no foods or kibble. Okay, that's just a, a mistake. Sangria, you are gonna haul all those. So yeah, you go ahead and maybe Mr. Wild Boar here, if you're in that zone. No, you won't be able to go over there to get that. Do we have any wild boar haulers yet? Animals. Alright, so what can we do here? Wild boars are right there. And that it would change to this symbol right here if they are trained in it. So we have one wild boar trained in rescue, but nobody's trained in hauling yet. Okay. Um, do that and that. All right. So that's good for now. Okay. So hauling is really what's going on. That's what Sangria is doing right now. But she's almost done. These two are left. And how's her mood? Because she's stuck in a priority mode right now. Hello. Medicine production is done. Okay, so Sangria. Sangria, your needs are... I think fine enough to do those two things. She needs to rest, but I think she's going to be okay there. Okay then, with that, Rabbit is replanting. Oh, he's uh, um, harvesting. Good. And replanting with this, and that's fine. So with that, you got a good run speed, and you're going to go mine. When you're done planting these... Are you going to... you got to do those two? No. So you're going to go mine marble. Okay. Let's cause you instead to do some hauling. How best? Uh, your mood is good. Okay. So rabbit. And let's have you take over where Klaus left off. Let's fill this thing with these. Let's come over and haul that one. And while you're here, let's just get this entire cluster done. And that's what I'm going to have to do to get that gauntlet filled. I see I missed a couple there. Let's haul you and and haul you. You're both limestone. So for that matter, Rabbit, you can catch those two as well. All right, there's that chunk done. Who can be your hauling buddy? Klaus is making kibble. No, he's he's on hauling duty right now. His needs are fine. <laughs> hmm. Now you're doing what? You're just... Oh, you're filling this one for Shantigo. Okay, great. Can I get you to maybe grab some more potatoes while you're here? You are hauling a fine meal to stockpile. Okay. Fine meals to stockpile nine. Where is stockpile nine? I guess meals were dropped off in this stockpile that needed to get put into this stockpile. That must be what just happened. Okay. I can see that now. You're dropping off there. Have we got our meals yet? We've got our meals. Okay. So actually, these two don't need to be done so much. Hmm. Oh, well. They're going to be fine out there for a while. Spoils in a day. Boy, just instantly thaws. That's amazing. And this one spoils in a quandrum. Hmm. Okay. Well, Klaus, you're in great shape. What were you going to do? You are going to haul more potatoes to finish filling this one up. Let's hold off on that. Let's get you out here to work on these guys over here. So you haul this one, that one, that one, that one, that, and that. Now the danger here is that we're going to get a raid or something drop in on us and you're going to be, you know, you and Rabbit are going to be off over here somewhere. Um, but that's just the risk we're going to have to take to get this accomplished so we can set traps and be done with it. 
kind of just don't want to go back into there again. It doesn't matter if the blood's in here. It's going to make this look ugly in here, but we're not going to be in there. So it's only going to look ugly for our enemies. That's probably a good thing, isn't it? All right, so that's them. Who else has got a good run speed that I can bug? Handy, you are. Hauling wood to torch lamp. Building it? Right there. Okay, let's watch that happen. And then I'm going to take advantage of your run speed too, I think. Needs? Did you not build it? What you doing now? Um, yeah, you got to rest soon. So, there you are building wooden shelf. Why didn't you finish this? Because you need three more wood. Hmm. Building a wooden shelf right there. Okay. And that's something that Lady Shell had mentioned that she does with her games. Is she'll set up a sewing tailoring area. Then she'll set the wooden shelves or racks to the clothing. So there's always two of pants, duster, what have you, in that room. I kind of like that idea. These are not going to stay here permanently, of course, because this is just our tent city. But I think I'll go ahead and give that a try just to see what it looks like. And so that we're not sending the seamstress out over here to dump them off all the time. Kind of keeps them separate from um, the clothes that are being hauled in from bodies. So we'll, we'll try this. So storage, you're going to be clear all and apparel. And let's put in allow non-dead man's apparel. No. Interesting. So this one we have chosen to allow it. Why did that move? Normally it doesn't move. Oh, because over here we've got any quality and any hit points. We can choose the hit points. Over here, unfortunately, we can't. That goes away. No. Oh, that just drives me nuts. Last time we did this, we looked at this, storage. I thought I scrolled to the top, and there is no way to choose your hit points. Yet here it does. So I can say I don't want the garbage weapons in here. Interesting. Why does it... Ah, randomness. Okay, back over here. You are... That's... Where's the one I clicked before? There it is, because I clicked clear all. So I want apparel, and we're not going to allow dead man's apparel, but we are going to allow dusters. And we're going to copy right there. We're going to paste, which is J, all the other settings, except we're going to change this one to, oh, how about pants and shirts? So pants on this one, and this one will change to shirts. We're making t-shirts right now. We're not making button downs or whatever. Yeah, right there. So there, there's dusters, pants, and shirts in here. But the basic needs to cover any unwelcome nudity debuffs. And that's what we'll do there. And so someone with the... Well, Handy's just going, going to town here. Great. Um... Um, someone with the with hauling duty should start hauling those in. And you're going to need to rest soon, so I'm not going to bug you to go haul stone right now. Sangra is finishing her last one? Yes. And she's going to go to bed. And there, and she's off to bed. How's your meals, though? Needs? Let's get you some food first. While you're here, let's just go ahead and get this done. All right, maybe you'll grab a fine meal, too, right? Oh, you've got one, as well as a pocket full of potatoes and a... And a stock of corn or, to, or ear of corn to uh, to train with yeah, animal handlers all oh, what was that oh what was that Utah social nuzzled Mississippi occurred 0 0.05 hours ago now what is the definition of nuzzled versus bonded I've never got a chance to really see that mother father brother brother of that litter. Neat. But what does nuzzled mean? In the game sense of what nuzzled mean. You know, I get a sense that that they've just become good friends, but I would associate that with bonded. So, you know, you guys can fill me in on, on the differences between the two. I see a roofsome built here. Alright, so Handy's bringing in the supplies to build probably one of these beds. That's good. So, you guys, how you doing? Good. Hold all the stuff in. And... Moods are fine and fine, and joy is not up there, but I mean, not not going up, but in pretty good shape there. 
Beauty's really low because I guess nature's ugly in this game. <laughs> the chunks are ugly. Maybe that's how it goes. And there's there's lots of there's lots of dirt out here. Ever notice that nature? Anyway, 38 degrees outside, so we're refrigerated. And uh, what is that? 7 p.m. Yeah. So I'm thinking that once we get the last of these in here, which is this whole group? I've got this. I've got all these triggered. We've got a few more down there to bring in. And you are Marvel, aren't you? Yeah. In fact, I can cancel those three. Don't know why they were marked. Otherwise, Klaus is going off for that one. Rabbit's going off for those two. Uh, needs. Rabbit's getting close. He's got two more to go. Klaus is in better shape. So, Klaus, you're going to add to your list these five. Lucky you. And then you'll be done. And cranky. But one, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it'll all fit in here. Then we can downgrade this and have them haul from here. And they'll go to the next... We've struck compact machinery. We'll go to the next um, higher priority one, which will be these. And that's that's the, the, uh, the theory that I'm working on here. Okay, you're working in there. Alicia needs... Your mood is decent, and you're going to need food and rest soon, but hideous environment, negative 15, in darkness, negative 3, 8 without a table, because you just grabbed a meal out here, and feeling bad. Which is caused by what? Health? No idea. So just in general. Okay. So you've still got a way to go. Let's get you back into the bedroom area, and specifically back onto compact machine, or uh, what do you call that? Compacted steel. Miss Pete, you are heading into there. Let's send you into there as well. Now, I've pointed this out before, but that one has been switched to not mine for now. So that's a support column there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten up is another, or nine up is right there. And then this one right here. So we've got columns giving us well i added this one though one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so we're still within the range of the the ceiling not collapsing in here so we've got plenty of support in there there's no support issues in any of these and except for maybe in here that's possible though this wall is going to offset that what we got over here one two three four five six seven so in there and there it's it's possible we could have a problem there I can't click on that one to uncheck it, so I've just got to hit cancel. And what looks centered to this area? About like that. Diagonal that way, that way. I'm going to go with that one. And these walls are going to offset any issues in here. And there to there, and there to there. Yeah, we're fine for collapse in this area. Okay, so that's good. Now... Going back to notes from a long time. Hunting is done. Cross that off. Um, the gauntlet's the biggie. I'll zoom out. You guys can kind of watch what's happening around here. Uh, up here, Klaus is still going at it. His needs are fine. Okay. So you guys can kind of watch in there while I'm, while I'm reading. A lot of... Quickly scribbled notes crossed off or circled or exclamation points and then crossed off. <laughs> yeah, I are organized. Nope, I'm not seeing anything else that is a serious issue here. Okay, so we're just going to let the game go. See what happens. Um, I'm assuming that we're still blocked by roof. Really? Henny didn't get the order to take this roof down? Do I have to specifically say no roof? Looks like I do. Okay, then remove roof. There. All right, who's up? That can unroof a roof. Alicia is taking a fine meal, needs, and then she's gonna be resting here real soon, but she's got another little tiny bit to go. So take your fine meal, and if I can keep from um, canceling that out, let's, good, it worked. So there, there. I think there's another one in there. I don't know if I got to that one or not. Okay. 
that should take care of that issue. Nothing is collapsible in this area. It's just a uh, um, constructed roof. It's not mountain above it. Shantigo is doing what? Making kibble. Oh, good. And then I need a bunch of hauling done. Shantigo, you are needing a meal, but your rest is done. Their schedule is all messed up because of that fibrous mechanitis. So let's have you specifically grab a meal when you're done with making. So right there. And then I'm going to set you to haul like crazy. Boy, I'm going to hold that shift down. It just jumps all over. What have we got in here, though? We've got lynx. We've got raccoon. We've got turkey. Venison. And probably some warg in there somewhere. Might be some grizzly, too. But let's have you... Um, Shantigo, you're okay. When you're done with that, you're going to grab a meal. Then you're going to haul venison, haul turkey. Catherine's fully healed. Good. Haul raccoon. Haul. That's seventy something. So yeah, that'll be a second round of that. So um, haul that one, and then haul lynx. And that's probably turkey, and there's probably turkey there, which means we're more than 75. So let's go ahead and... Oh, venison. So we're going to do that again. Okay. So you're just going to zip these in here real quick, and you'll be all ready for your next round of whatever. This has been sitting out here this whole time. It has. So Natalia cannot haul that. Catra can. She's going for a walk. Just... She is really joy deprived right now. Michael is finished with his latest creation. We need to get Michael working on something else right now. Although those latest creations, if they're you know decent quality, they do kind of help the bedrooms. There is that. Okay, minor break risk Klaus. Yeah, I've about worked him to death. Um, before you do that, though, we ran into that problem last time. You're going to eat before you go to bed. That's what happened to Michael. And he went into his his sad wander. And need a research project. That's right. Whoa, 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 what? Missa P and Michael just exchanged something that wasn't nice. Michael just insulted Missa P. Hmm. Okay, Missa P, where are you? Though still, still, let's see. Opinion Missa P is still good, but you still insulted her. Hmm. Missa P was insulted by Michael. And Michael's down there only thinks of negative seven of him as a result. Interesting. I don't know what brought that on. Um, research project. So let's go with the mortars. Tell you guys, tell me otherwise, and I'll decide whether I'm going to listen or not. <laughs> research is something that there are so many opinions on about what is the most important or, or not. And in the end, it's more emotional than anything. I mean, look how far we've gone without hardly any research, and we've done pretty much just fine. So it's, it's mostly just personal preference. Um, so we're done over here enough to go ahead and kill that. All that now is available to Orders Hall. And we're going to do some serious hauling as soon as somebody is unlucky enough to get out of bed. Handy, what you doing? You're relaxing socially. In that room with all of that, now oh, that is, your beauty is crashing. Okay. Hmm. Maybe this table is just not a good thing to have here. I could put it in here, but then they're going to wake up Sangri every time. I think so. That's got to go. So you are a normal. We're just going to... Hmm. This is ugly too. Where do we get them to relax socially and or grab a meal somewhere that isn't going to cause their mood to crash as a result? I did want them in here. Actually, I did. I want in the middle of a, of a raid, if someone is really crashing hard and they need to grab a meal, I could at least tell them to go eat a meal right at their, at a table and get a little bit of a bonus. So let's do that. Let's reinstall this here. Um, right there. Let's leave a space on each side of the door available to get two people stacked in here to plunge back through that door again. So right there there and then we've got two chairs in here we do you're a normal chair I'm gonna reinstall you right here e a few times there and you are a superior chair and that's the one she chose to sit in well that was strange my game just shut down on me that was really odd 
Oh, what was I saying? Something about a chair and moving it. Let's just get that going here, and then I will, let's see, reinstall right there. It happened once before while I was in between episodes just working on things, and suddenly it, it you know, shut down to desktop. The game is actually still running in the background, but for some reason it just went away, and nothing else came up in its place to cause that to happen. What do you think about that? Do I go into... Oh, the settings to raise the priority of RimWorld to a higher priority so nothing can supersede it. Is that the way to make sure that doesn't happen? And something else I'm staring at here jogged a memory of something I wanted to do. Uh, but first of all, Handy, when you're done... No, you're done. Let's relax socially somewhere else. There, you are hauling steel. I can't make you relax socially again? Yes. I can have you do that over there. Do you really need it? You actually don't need it. Okay, I just want to get you out of this place. Let's have you um, right there. Let's, I got to go over here. So do that one, do that one, do that one. And then you're good for a while. You're good for a long while. Let's get this working. You are going to begin this process. There, you're going to do the first eight. And that's probably what I'll do between episodes this time. Just haul these guys and the other ones over there. Get them all hauled in. But what I was going to say was, we could rebuild these little defensive areas out of sandbags. Now I got to looking at this one over here while I was thinking about this before I started the episode. We could sandbag these things. We've got actually quite a bit of steel available to us now, and there'll be lots more found in here as we go. I see something showing up right there. Oh, that's machinery. Okay. But, and there's some right there too. Compactor machinery. Good. That's our, our uh, components there. Um, weird how you dig out components, especially when you read the description of components. You know, they're uh, um, miscellaneous gears, capacitors, circuit boards, tubes, wheels, sensors, wires, chips, processors, and other electronic and industrial parts. So they're, they're, they're little thingies that you find in, you know, in, inside of a mountain that while you're chipping away, that's, 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 Odd. Anyway, we've got quite a bit of compact uh, steel available to us now. These are six steel each, so which I wish they were, you know, a byproduct of of chunks being turned into blocks. That seems like it should be sand for sandbags, but they chose to use steel for this. We could get back our limestone chunks that I had set up in all different places, even right here, and get this done even that much quicker. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, in fact, I'm probably at a good place to call this one done. Just because what's next is just telling everybody to get out there and haul chunks in from every location on the map and get that thing filled. So I think that's probably what I will do off camera now. And and uh, we've been so long without a raid, I'd have to believe next time we're going to get nailed. That's that's my guess. That's, that's my prediction. We'll see where that goes. But um, it's been a nice break from that. Nice break of getting things done, getting through all of our crises, and getting stocked up, and seeing a little progress in here. So I'm going to spend some time filling this up, maybe get some of the traps set, and then maybe we'll start setting a lot of people to mining. Let's see if we can't just get in here and clear out a lot of these areas. So that's the hope. We'll see what RimWorld actually does to us, but we'll find out next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.